So to anyone who watches Netflix or Amazon Prime or any other streaming service, have you ever noticed that TV shows and movies have not really hit you in that way that old movies do? Like there's something missing, some sort of spark, some sort of oomph that's in a movie that can be considered a piece of cinematic art in a sense. If not, then I don't know what you're doing with your life, but regardless, for those people who are enlightened and they see this, they realize that movies are slowly dying. Even Martin Scorsese himself said it that the art form of filmmaking is dying. And if it's dying, what is it being replaced by? Well, it's being replaced by television. Now, in this video, I wanted to break down basically what's going to happen to the film industry and why I personally would motivate any filmmaker who watched this video to transition quickly to these three things, learn about them, and continue doing craft, but through a new platform and a new way than getting stuck and destroyed when the entire filmmaking system collapses. So the first thing you should realize is that filmmaking is an art form is no longer feasible due to length. People's attention spans are dwindling by the second. They went from five minutes to around 15 seconds when TikTok first came out. And now no one can focus on anything. Everyone just scrolls constantly. But now even the scrolling is ending because people can't even focus on the short form content. And with the continuation of all of these social medias becoming more and more advanced with integration of artificial intelligence into the algorithms, people are going to continue scrolling and continue scrolling and the attention span is going to go from 5 seconds to 4 seconds to 3 seconds, etc. until basically we will have to require just flashing images. For example, recently in certain video games, they're getting worse because people can't even focus on the story. Then you have a bunch of flashing lights, a bunch of stupid characters and witty one-liners and strange music playing just to even have the audience captured in some way. We have lost the ability to retain and hold in information and also to receive information across a long period of time. This is not only damaging our society, but disrupting a lot of industries now. And it's only going to get worse. So I advise all of you to train your mind and to learn how to focus and to interact with long form content pieces. And I'm talking about old school, long form content pieces to extract as much information as possible from them. The second point I'd like to make is that AI has taken over the world. AI is gonna completely devastate the filmmaking space. It's gonna delete probably most of the jobs in the filmmaking space, including cinematographers, including art designers, including basically almost every single creative profession ever. And only the producers, maybe the directors are gonna be staying there because they're the ones with the money. They're the ones with the tech. They're the ones with the realization. They have the ability to basically create the product to life. Without them, you can't really do anything. But I think that also will change because a lot of people are going to become self-producing. And that's the optimistic script, in my opinion, that there's going to be about 10 million oversaturated market, 10 million creators just making content. But I think every one of them are going to be bought because all of them will require some sort of tool or instrument to create their content and the producers of this tool could just completely decimate those that they don't support or that they don't like the content of. So they can pick and choose which creator becomes famous. So what you do in this situation is you start learning AI. You start to integrate AI into your workflows, into everything, into, into communication, into your art forms, into your filmmaking, into your script creation, everything. Because it is a new tool, a revolutionary tool that can speed up your process. You will become the most advanced person in your field if you start integrating AI. AI is the future. There are currently people right now who are about 16 years old that are using AI to make tens of thousands of dollars. They learn this information from the internet, from a course that costs 50 bucks, and they are decimating you in real time while you sit there in Photoshop and work on a design for four hours straight, or you edit a video for five hours straight. Instead, they're using AI. They are destroying you right now in real time and you're not capable of fighting them. So you have to learn AI and become more advanced than ever. The third point about why filmmaking has become less humane is that soon filmmaking will turn to TV, then it'll turn into AI, then turn into reality. Reality soon will not be something we see, but something that is gonna be chosen to be viewed. There is a resurgence, there is a uprising in all of this VR technology coming up with the Apple goggles, all of that stuff. 
This is also going to be integrated with AI. Every single thing you read or view or see is going to be made by artificial intelligence. And it is impossible to stop that. It's already here. So you can't complain about it anymore. You have to accept it at the previous point to use AI. But you have to realize that soon reality is going to become very expensive. Information is going to become very expensive and AI is going to be controlling it. And you have to learn AI and create content and create art that retains a spark of truth, of your truth, of your soul, that you can create using limitless creativity through the use of AI technology and send it out on the internet. Because that at least guarantees that the people with true and pure hearts will spread their content and their art forms out there and combat the manipulating aspect of AI using their pure art forms. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I covered a broad range of topics. If you have any interest in discussing a specific topic, I can make a video about that. Just write it in the comments below. So I hope you all enjoyed and have a nice day.